Yes, it is. Hi, how you doing, Nick? Holly and I are in charge of getting the extras, the extra zombies. Yep, that's what we do. <laughs> Holly's been chained to a telephone for the last two days. Yeah, right. Non-stop. Her phone's been so busy that we actually had to take them off a hook yesterday because we couldn't even write down what the last person told us. On a big zombie day, how many are there? Uh, the most we've had is 150, and in Florida we'll have uh, hordes. We're just going to put out an open call to fill the streets of Fort Myers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jeff. <laughs> What? Our Jordy Verrill zombie. Don't try this at home. <laughs> David, 97, will you take one? Lock it. Hey, George, do it. Action! Go time. Cut! Oh, okay. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Watch the glass. Clean it up. What are the prerequisites to be a feature zombie, any? Well, <laughs> zombies come from all walks of life, so it doesn't really matter who you are, what you look like. So you've got a ballerina zombie coming in tomorrow. We've got short ones, fat ones, tall ones, men, women, old ones, young ones. <laughs> we've got zombies from Ohio. Ohio. We've got calls from California, Oregon. Ontario. We've had people come in from Ohio, South yeah. Carolina, New York. George Romero's entire fan club came. New York City. Uh, this, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, that we've got a rock band called M NRBQ, who's leaving a gig in Massachusetts at 10 o'clock and they're hopping on their tour bus and they're going to be here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and we're going to shoot shot. them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, when, the, when the NRBQ and the whole weed horns found out they were making this movie, we stopped sleeping. We haven't slept for th three weeks. We drove down here from Springfield, Massachusetts last night and we figured the less sleep we had to before we be in shape for this. <laughs> I'm ready. Big Al's ready. I'm ready. We've got some more rock and roll zombies. We've got uh, some guy that's in the punk rock group, The Cramps, and we've yeah. been told not to let him bite anybody because he'll really bite them. <laughs> so... Yeah, we have, uh, especially a lot of the people from Ohio have come back like four and five times. Really they just can't fans. get enough. Yeah, we had a guy today that drove 200 miles from Ohio, and he went to the N Manor Nike base where we shot a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and he still got here. Yeah. And for all this, we'll have to tell you what, what, what they, they get. Yes. First of all, they get this hat that they can wear in line when they go see the movie. <laughs> it says, I was a zombie in Day of the Dead. And next. Here we have a newspaper. Autographed by George Romero. And, and a dollar. <laughs> this is for their cigarette money. And people but... frame their dollars, yes, too. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and all the fresh meat they can eat. Yes, that's right. What is that stuff? Um, this is a secret, uh, secret zombie food recipe. <laughs> it's, um, well, I can't even divulge the secrets, but the zombies will have a great feast this afternoon. Here. <laughs> what, what do you usually feed them? Uh, today they're eating the uh, one of the soldiers named Steel, but it's really turkey flesh, I'll confess. Extra. Plain old zombie. <laughs> this is my. This has been my fourth shoot. That's how long I've been out here. Um, I've been a zombie for about, I'd say, about a month now. 
I started uh, when they shot over at the uh, Manor Nike site, and the last three shots have been uh, at the uh, Wampum Industrial Facility. And this is the first time I've had uh, special makeup done. And uh, before I was just a, uh, I was intermediate uh, like him. And uh, before that, I was a, uh, I was a mass zombie. So they have different stages of zombies. I've been here since they first started in this mine. Uh, I started. They had the first day we put our arms through a wall. It's not about to be an arm. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of sitting around, but it's a lot of mostly it's anticipation for the shot. We've still been waiting uh, to be shot today. But we got um, here at 7:30 for makeup and. We haven't been in one scene yet. We're, but we're still, still late. Yeah, we're still we're, st we're still anxious to get on a screen because when, once you're out there, it's great. You don't care how long you've been here. You could have been here for two days straight, and it wouldn't have made any difference at all. Okay. Quiet, please. That was great. A little slower. Pretty energetic. Everyone was, was pretty, a little too energetic. Okay, Move, just moving a little slower. I am really into the blood. This is like how I take out all my frustrations on these poor, innocent people who come here to be gooped like this. Do you see? This is the most fun thing. Head wounds, scars. Latex falling apart. Well, I don't know how much philosophy I'm missing with, but uh, I think I made big mistakes in Don as far as one, the blood formula that I used, you know, it was like a 3M company stuff. <clears throat> this is Dick Smith's formula, which is the best. And as you know, we just all we did was paint massive amounts of people gray only. Uh, this is five years later, and I, we're trying to make every single zombie a personality unto himself. I mean, we're doing major appliances on dozens and dozens of people, and they're the ones that are being featured, you know, up close. So we st we're still slapping some grays and blues on people, but they're like in the background. Um, there's, I think there's more action. This day that there's more action packed. Um, not that that has anything to do with my philosophy or not, but um, just the idea of doing the makeups better and, and more appliances, more creatures, you know. Almost everyone is, is a monster unto himself in this film. Are you still having a lot of fun doing this? No. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is fun. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, because we're doing, every day we're doing miracles here. Stuff we haven't done before, and that's what the fun is, inventing, you know, um, the stuff. Somebody says they want something, and, you know, when, when it works, when it finally does work, that's where the fun goes. But doing it is, doing it is work. What are you doing to him? I'm removing, we just, uh, we just bit him in the neck, and then we just blew the back of his head off, and uh, these are the appliances that we used to achieve that. And for that, we had to dig into his, uh, we had to, apply it over his own beard and then give him a new beard and it's, we had to glue his own beard down and it's pretty it's pretty sticky in there i'm just dissolving all the glue and getting this appliance off let's see if i can just pull that one off go ahead Tom. can i try it go ahead do it do it quick though yeah, a little piece just do it quick off. Yeah, a little piece off, that's all. as soon as i get this little chunk off i can just go in there and massage because the one thing we're not telling these people is how painful this is well if it was painful i wouldn't do it <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is absolutely well in Dawn of the Dead it was just me and uh, an assistant and on special days we hired like eight guys to slap gray makeup on but in this one this is the best crew I've ever worked with I mean I've got three guys from Hollywood that I worked well one guy I worked with before in Hollywood on Friday the 13th final chapter but every guy here is an artist with his own specialty and there's there's like seven of us because there's you know, like I said, we wanted to do so many zombies and everyone had to look good, so we did nothing but three months at my house making generic zombie appliances, that were small, medium, and large, that we knew would fit onto people as they walked in the door. So we're not just slapping paint on, we're like doing major makeups on everybody. So, explain what's going to happen. The door, hopefully, is going to be blown open by machine gun fire. 
One of the soldiers fires a machine gun at the door and the door blows up. That's what we're expecting to happen. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Okay, explain the effect that's going to happen with the door blowing and what you're doing. Okay, basically what uh, the scene is, a guy shoots and fires a machine gun, M16 at the doorway, blows holes in the door, then the doorknob blows off with some sparks on it, and the door blows open. Basically, the way we have it rigged is each hole is pre-drilled, uh, basically a small charge called a bullet head is glued into the hole. The hole is filled with auto body putty and then repainted over it. Each wire is run to a basically a box like this where when you turn or when the switch is hit it fires the sequence of 24 or whatever amount of uh, bullet hits. Uh, the door is rigged to open with a thing we call the quick release or a pelican hook which is timed to the last squib that fires that makes the door open up on cue. Yeah, we need the we need the duct tape. Where is it? I don't know. Find it somewhere. Probably back at the shop. Right. Wait a minute. Will this work? Am I masking? Greg, what? Can we want to use this? No, it won't stick. Let me get your front. What the hell did they do here? That's brutal. Yes. Yeah, there he is. Broccoli man, right here. Broccoli man. Thanks. Find it. Uh, that's not the good stuff. Where's the gray? The top part. All right, now, are you doing a shot of these? Like, because we have to get this tube and everything ready. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. I want you to get them ready to go. You got it. And uh, hey, Brocky Man, too. Anything to you. And, and as soon as we do the shot with Bill Asker, you got to read him right away. All right. Okay. Explain what you're doing. Okay, what we're doing here is he, this is my friend Matt. He's a zombie. He is already rigged for a front head hit. There's a, a, a bladder right here, which will pump blood, and there's tubing coming through the hair here, which will go down his leg and he'll have tubing and stuff. So what we're going to do is it'll simulate the entry of the bullet. And what we're going to do is fill up some latex balloons with blood with little charges in them. And it will also simulate the blood shooting out the back. And usually it takes about 20 minutes to a half an hour because you have to get this metal plate on to protect his head, put the detonator charge on there with the blood get it all rigged, send the wires in. Once that's all done, you know, all I have to do is hook it up to a box and push the button in. Rolling? Rolling. Slay down. Okay, action. <laughs> This is a mechanical understructure for an effect in the film. A person gets their head ripped off and the zombies are biting at his neck and they pull his head off, but while it's being pulled off, we still want it to be able to scream as if we're still sort of alive. So we have a mouth that opens and closes.
Yeah, and then we have cheeks that go up in a sense of surprise. We're going to use the front end of the other shot all the way up to about here. This is a rehearsal. See, we want what we want you in the air and grabbing on going through that. The impact on you is not as important as the right. flip and But it's all, it, isn't it all about the same place? Uh, well, about the same place. Bang. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. Well, but still, I, okay. I, I think it's, it's got to be later, right? Because the car continues to move. Even yeah, but I don't. Up. The card is going this way. I go up, latch on, and then go. Right. You want to just, want to just try? It? Sure. What, can you do it Absolutely. Well? Yeah. We'll do it. Right. Okay, Jeff. We need a mark for Joe over here. Action. supposed to tell you about Captain Rhodes. I just got this beautiful bruise here. Wait, um, let me check that. They're going to check the bruise. Um, and apparently everybody's telling me that I'm supposedly the villain of the movie, which I'm really not. Steel over here is the, is the villain. No, he's not. Um, we're good guys. We're good guys. We're the military point of view. And everybody knows that we're better off than we were four years ago. And Reagan's in the White House. So how can the military perspective be a bad perspective? Uh, basically, we are the bad guys. I'm in command now, and I'm telling you that you work with what you got. And you better start showing me some results, or you won't have that very much longer. Yeah, they'll do that, and you can tell me what's going to happen. Well, <clears throat> at this point in time, uh, Rhodes is being pursued by Bub, who, as you know, is the main zombie. And uh, Bob is hot on his trail. Rhodes has an M16 in his hand, but doesn't have time to get the cartridges in because Bob raises his gun and starts firing at him. Rhodes tries to get the cartridge in, can't, in the old tradition of getting the key in the car while the monster's chasing you and you can't turn it, you know what I mean? And dun -da 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 -da. So Rhodes turns around and as he's rounding the bend, uh, Bob plugs him right in the shoulder. Let's just walk through it once. Action! 